So if I tweet about something that a guy doesn't agree with, uh, instead of being like, I kindly disagree, the next at reply is like, you should get raped to death. Damn, Ginger, your red, stupid, ugly ass hair is making you all fiery. Ugly Jewish whore. Hey, your jokes are really weird, but your boobs are nice, so I guess that makes up for it. This guy said, didn't I see you on the cover of Vogue? Which, oh, you didn't. And then he followed up with, I love your skeletal body. I want to ride your mind. This guy who I'd never interacted with before writes, for your age, you're looking great. Hashtag, am I being nice or not? Hashtag, sorry, Aaron. We can be really smart. I'm really smart. But it doesn't matter as long as we look good. They try to pass it off as giving me a compliment and I should be flattered that they're talking about my vagina or how hot I am. I have a podcast and I, so like obviously it's like kind of an intimate forum of you know one hour talk some intimate details come out and I had a guy message me that we were soulmates and we were meant to be together and that um, he would do anything and he doesn't play games like he knows that I'm meant for him. Want to see my dick? Dick pic please. You have the look that every man wants in a woman's eyes surprised with a little bit of fear. Should we exchange naked pics? Be the change you want to see in the world. Anything that you tweet is explained back at you as if you don't know what you're talking about. You could literally write a blog post that consists of the following words, the sky is blue. And somebody, some dude would write, you fucking bitch. Ugly Jew blood sucker. Stupid dumb bitch. Tight hashtag, hashtag victim privilege. Lulz. I've been called angry a lot. I think a lot of that is not only being like a woman who writes online, but also being a Latina woman who writes online. You have to look the other way, and I, I hate doing that. Block if they get scary, and ignore if it's just annoying. At this point, I'm so used to it. It still bothers me, but I just expect it. It's like, why would you bring up that you had lunch? I stopped looking at the comment sections on the things that I wrote, because it's always, it's always about that. But this is my work. This is what I do for work, and it's a problem. It makes me feel demoralized. Comments like keep me going. When people hate you, you know, it means that you're onto something. So I'm not really ever gonna shut up. I don't know what goes through these people's heads where they're like, I'm gonna shoot this off. I'm gonna, boom, Twitter gold.